Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do another speedy review and this time I'm reviewing the Ben Knight Luxury Banana Powder. This infamous powder has been on my wish list ever since Kim Kardashian's makeup artist announced to the world this is what he uses on her face. And I finally got to try this out a few months ago and I have to say that I completely get the hype. I absolutely love this powder, it is incredible. The first thing I wanted to note is that they've changed the packaging of this recently. So just to give you an example, this is what the packaging used to look like. This is the Makeup Revolution dupe, the one that they copied. Um, this is what the old Ben Nye packaging used to look like. So it just comes with a little lid and sort of a shaker like that. And it's really annoying to use because then you have to try and decant the product into the lid like so. And then obviously you've got your powder brush, which is normally quite a big brush. It's really hard to like dip the brush into there. So I don't like this packaging at all. This new packaging is so much more user friendly. That's not really a makeup term, is it? Um, but it's just like a traditional powder pot with a sifter. I really like this powder. There isn't really that much difference between this and the Makeup Revolution powder. I've got a separate review on that, so I will link that somewhere up here for you. But I just prefer using luxury makeup and this one's just that little bit nicer. The powder is really finely milled, which just means that it's perfect for the under eye area. However, I don't actually use this under my eyes because I have dark circles that are kind of like brown and grey in tone. Any yellow powder or products that I put over the top of it will just make my skin look ashy. So what I do is I actually use this powder to set my entire face. Not all the time, but just sometimes. Or sometimes I'll just use it to set the highlighted parts of my face because I just find that the yellow colour of this powder complements the undertone and my skin tone really nicely. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this powder. It is so lovely. It feels really soft and silky on the skin and it lasts day I don't really get any like creasing around my mouth or anything like that and it's just a really nice powder overall you also get tons of it so I feel like this is going to last forever but if you do have Caucasian or paler skin and your dark circles are maybe blue or purple in tone then this would work really well to counteract the dark circle so all you would do is just apply your concealer as normal and then just set it with the yellow powder I absolutely love this I think it retails for £13.50 which I don't actually think is too bad because you get 26 grams of product in here. This is actually a huge tub. I mean, this is my hand for reference and I just feel like it's gonna last forever. Um, it's a really good investment, I think. And I'm really glad that I got a chance to try it. I'm also really happy that they changed the packaging because I feel like Ben Nye used to be not mainstream, like a professional brand that makeup artists used to use. So something like this, for example, is quite good for a makeup artist because you just decant this product onto a palette so that, you know, for hygiene reasons, you're not dipping your brush in and stuff like that. Um, but obviously now, now that Ben Nye's become such a mainstream brand, and of course the whole world has gone crazy for it, this is so much better for the average person that obviously just wants to dip like their beauty blender in or like a big brush like this, and it's just so much easier to use. So I'm really glad about that. Like I said, I think it retails for £13.50, and also I think it's on sale at the moment, so I'll definitely leave a link for this down below if you are interested. But I really hope you found this speedy review helpful. If there's anything else that you'd like me to review, then please let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and please hit that subscribe button because it would mean so much to me but thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye